Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts and this is yet another reading. Today I'm going to do three piles. Here are the numbers. Pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. I'm also going to shuffle some cards live. For people who are new to my channel, welcome to Tam Predicts. I am a psychic uh, medium and I am an intuitive tarot reader and uh, I follow, I'm guided by my archangels, my spirit guides and my ascended masters to give you channel messages. Uh, remember I read my tarot very differently whatever comes to my mind or while I'm holding the card whatever things that I get in my mind or I have to speak that's what I give you uh, the guided messages that's how I give you the guided messages so this is today the reading is about uh, what are his feelings towards you his current feelings towards you what is he thinking in his mind or what do you want to know how is he feeling about you right now so you can choose from any of the three piles uh, pile number one pile number two and pile number three and I'm going to begin the reading and let's see what does he really think about you or what are his feelings or what is on his mind so if you've chosen pile number one these are the messages for you I'm going to keep doing uh, channel messages so um, don't worry about that I'm going to keep giving whatever messages that I get in between uh, this says the sound of the universe so uh, he really feels uh, you know you are his universe you are his world uh, he talks to you about everything you know that's what I get and he likes that that you know your friends also so these are channel messages the card is very different whatever it says is very different whatever visual you see is very different those are the messages that I'm getting so you guys are very friendly um, you have very friendly chats you like a friend also you like lovers you can discuss everything under the sun um you like you share a lot of common topics is what i what i get and he also finds uh, he also likes the fact that you know you have a uh, you uh, you can talk about a lot of things you know you're uh, you have very uh, good knowledge about a lot of uh, you know subjects and you know a lot and he likes discussing things with you and he likes that you are knowledgeable you're smart and you probably do a lot of study or I do not know you uh, things intrigue you and you look them up in the dictionary or in uh, you know you search google or you're always looking for answers is what I get you know when I hold this but you do expand his universe you do expand his thinking you help him think Think better you make him a better man um, you know you make him uh, you he thinks that you're really kind and uh, that's uh, what he's picking up from you uh, how to be kind to people and he thinks you always up you know you always help people and he loves that about you the answer is uh, yes if you had a question in your mind he really loves you and I really think there is a balance here the way you balance I do not know you could be a water or a fire sign but I feel you very different personalities even if you're very uh, different personalities like a north and a south pole but things you you learn you know how to balance out things or even if there is anything you know in his life you know how to balance it out you know if he's kind of tired or you know you really know how to um, um, make him happy if he's sad and you know um that that's you know him very well that's another message that i get and that's what he really loves about you but the main thing i get is balance you know it's like when he's angry so you know when to uh, talk when not to talk what to say to him you know you do not infuriate him more it's like you know how to balance the situation you know how to balance things in life he also sees a lot of uh, you know uh, that's how he sees you that you sh you shine a lot of light there's a lot of confidence within you he thinks you're very confident intelligent those are the words that are coming to me confident intelligent smart he likes that about you he also likes that you are so confident about yourself the way you look or how you talk and you know you do not have those complexes at all and uh, uh, he loves that about you that there is a beautiful light within you you know it's like an angel like you help people I do not know if you're a healer or something but that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up and he loves that about you that you're always ready to help people you know that's that's really a big message that's coming through I don't know if you like pink roses but maybe uh, he likes giving you pink roses or or the message that he wants to give to you is you know keep shining uh, do not worry about what people are saying I'm always there for you those are the kind of messages that I'm getting from your special person that's beautiful I also feel he says that you're not really impulsive you you think things through you know this is the tower card and it's come reversed he really thinks you like spending time on thinking uh, things uh, balance balancing them out so your reactions are not really impulsive and that's what he likes ab about you maybe the guy you dealing with is impulsive you know probably reacts suddenly or reacts in a second uh, you kind of take your time you know you take your time to think say things um, understand the situation and then react 
so that's what i think how you two, do, two are different and you know that's what he likes about you so uh, definitely he thinks it, the quality he likes about you is uh you know he he really thinks that you're not really impulsive and you handle situations very well i feel there's a commitment in this relationship this is a beautiful uh, you know uh, whatever the pile number 1 is beautiful the other message that i also get is that he said that you're my you're number 1 in my life like if you've had ever had a priority list and he keeps you number 1 on that on the top so maybe he's told you that these are his words that you're always on the top or probably you always trouble him you know asking him am i or uh, you know on your, i I'm, i hope i'm your top you know uh, top on your list if there are 10 10 people on your list i hope i'm the number one something to do with number one i do not know if your birth date or birth month adds to one but that's i i really feel that or probably your phone has a lot of uh, number ones in it you know like 1111 or something similar to that but i really think in this pile the numbers that i'm picking up are 1 11 or uh, 10 those are the numbers that i'm picking up pay attention to the red flags uh he says that uh, you are not impulsive but there are times you know he wants you to be wary of people you trust people very easily that's what he thinks you know and that's what he wants you to know that do not trust people uh you know uh, just like that uh you know understand when you know they are not ready uh, uh they they don't mean good and uh, also do not listen to people because uh, you know the message that i get is uh, you kind of you tend to listen to people you know and they raise a lot of red flags these red flags don't come from you it's like people around you you know they'll say oh this guy is not nice or this is not fine or you shouldn't do this so don't listen to people uh, like you know you're very confident and you're very intelligent so always always you know um, react from uh, you know whenever uh, react from what you think is right or wrong but do not listen much to people that's what he really thinks that you do listen to people but i think this is a guy who really loves you you know the vibe that i'm picking is uh, picking up is uh, beautiful you know and uh, uh, it's a beautiful deck you you love talking that's what he loves about you you like being in the spotlight and he likes seeing you in the spotlight that's how he feels about you you know he really loves when you know you enter a room and how you are the center of it, uh, you know attention and everybody's looking at you the spotlight is on you maybe you work with the media as one of the mediums i do not know could be radio tv something to do with that you know where the spotlight is always on you and uh, another thing that i get is yeah it says online media maybe you you have uh, you know a business or you have something to do with online probably you have a lot of followers i get somebody who has a lot of followers and he is also very um uh, confident about you he's not jealous and he likes when you are successful so this is a very loving pile let me see one message that i want to pick up from the everyday witch pile which is one of my favorite piles what is the deck saying yep you he's very sure of you he's not going to go the other way i mean for him it's either you or no one that's what i feel it's it's you all the way he's he's totally decided on you you know there is there is nobody else so there's there are no options you never an option for him you know you're always the one i think that's a beautiful way to close the reading that's awesome so pile number 1 those are the messages for you that's how he feels about you that's what he thinks about you those are the qualities he likes in you Let's move on to pile number 2. What does what what are his current feelings? How does he feel about you? What does he think about you? Um what does he want you to know? Probably he wanted to know what's uh, you know on his mind regarding you or whatever, you know, similar things. So let's start the reading. Third eye chakra. He feels he should be more open. That's a message that I get. Remember guys, I read my cards very differently. It's just what I got. The message that I got is please open open your eyes. That's another thing that he's saying. I do not know why. Open your eyes is I mean um uh see the situation uh, clearly there's something you're not seeing clearly in the relationship or something and he wants you to see it clearly there's a situation that's probably brewing up or you in a situation he wants you to see things clearly be more transparent those are the words that i get you know um he he feels that you go around in circles telling him things you know he he's kind of more straightforward is what i feel and he likes uh, clarity in a situation maybe he wants clarity in a situation maybe there needs to be clarity from your side uh, you know but definitely the message uh, the channel message that i get is open your eyes the, the answer is no i do not know if he's saying no or i do not know he's very sure about what's happening between you two because remember when i said the word clarity maybe that's what i meant you know that's what the uh, channel message is guys you um uh, got to work upon your relationship you know there it has to be more clear uh, probably are you hiding things from him or he feels that you are hiding things from him something similar to that uh 
or so, I mean I, I the word I get is clarity you know there's some kind of a confusion I get the word you know uh, I get the word confusion here maybe that's why I've stopped and I'm thinking you know what what's the message here it's it's kind of uh, you're also seeing negatives in the situation I do not know if you stopped working on the situation that's what he feels you know there's something you're not telling him. What is it? You know, be thankful in the uh, you know in the situation. He wants you to be thankful that you two are together. I think uh, the situ the uh, the whole uh, feeling that I'm getting is he wants you to work on the differences. I do not know what problem was there between you two or there is something wrong, but uh, he kind he wants you to be more thankful that he's there for you. It's not that you know he's kind of greedy and he's like a man that you should be thankful that I'm in your life, but something to do with you know. Um, He's, he's also thankful that you are there, you know, in his life. But uh, I think he sees uh, you withdrawing. That's what I feel, you know. I do not feel the guy stepping back. There's something about you. I, I feel a doubt. The word that I get is a doubt. Is, is there a doubt in your mind about him? That's what he's thinking, you know. Did you say a no to him? Did you say I want more time? See, there is unrequited love. He thinks uh, he loves you more. That's what I get. It's about his feelings. And he feels that he comes to you more often than, you know, you. Uh, the, he gives more than, you know, what, what you do. Either you're hiding something from him or either you do not want to take the relationship forward. He, you've kind of left him confused. So actually this pile is very clear. Even pile number one was totally different. This pile, I really thought this is this is a very unclear situation. This is confusion in the lover's mind. That's what I feel. And there is not enough appreciation, maybe gratitude and appreciation are together, you know, and probably he thinks that he does a lot for you and there is no uh, appreciation and gratitude from your side. Maybe you want more, 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 maybe uh, all the time, even whatever, okay, he feels whatever you uh, he does for you, you always want more, more, more. So this situation could have come to an end or suddenly you would have stepped back, suddenly you would have ended a situation. This is probably, uh, you you guys have just ended a situation or you think, uh, he thinks you're going to end the situation. Or he thinks you're going to end uh, the, uh, you, you, you know, you're going to end the relationship. He thinks, he, I don't know, but he, he's, I, I feel somebody who has fear in his mind. You know, fear that you will leave him. He is, he's fearing that. Because he doesn't know where he stands with you. You need to find balance. Either you're somebody who's working too much, you do not have time for your guy. Either you have someone else in your life and you've not told them. Either you've got, some, you know, you've got... A choice and he doesn't know about it but you've kind of you know, left him very confused this is this is all about confusion this is all about finding balance he wants you to find balance is it that you're very busy or is it that you're away and you're not giving him time that's what he feels he wants he wants you to uh, be happy appreciate you know what you both have and I think you guys had have been together for long and suddenly these problems have just cropped up. I mean, this is this is very sudden. The word that I get is sudden here. One more card from uh, my deck. Yeah, Ace of Swords. You could be an air sign. I think he thinks you fight too much. Every little thing becomes a fight with you. That's what he thinks. And he really... Uh, this is a pile where the guy really likes you, okay? It's not that he doesn't want to work it out with you. But I, he thinks you have issues and, you know, some some anger issues or you're not telling him what's happening. Either you love your freedom too much and it's very difficult for him. Maybe you're not committing to the guy. Maybe you, uh, you're dilly-dallying and saying, okay, you know, let's let's wait. Let's wait for another day. That's what I get. Or probably he sees you always, you know, too free. You know, you do not want to settle down right now. But he's he has something else in mind. So that's a very different pile from pile number um, two. I also get number two. I get four. I get more even numbers in this pile. So maybe your birth month, birth date adds to a two or a four or any even number. Maybe the guys does. But this is definitely, I also see two and two. I see 22. I see two little ducks. I do not know why I use the word ducks. Did you see ducks today? Did you think about them? Something to do with ducks, something to do with turkey. Kind of bird. I don't know why I'm getting bird. I'm getting bird a lot here. Is it is it freedom? Is it you want freedom from the relationship? You've had enough. Maybe that's why I'm getting a bird. Maybe you want to fly away. Yeah, you do not want to be in this relationship. But you've got to be clear with the guy because he's kind of confused with whatever's happening. So let's move on to pile number three. Let's see what are his feelings, current feelings for you. What is he thinking? What does he think about you? Any other messages that I get? 
remember these are channel messages the cards might be saying something else and i'll tell you what whenever i hold the card and i'll tell you what channel messages i'm getting this is freedom he loves that you're free spirited he loves the way you conduct yourself he loves that you know you can adjust in a, you know uh, to any situation or whatever you're very fluid those are the words that i get you like mercury you know you could be an air sign i get a lot of air sign with wings here but you love your freedom and he loves that about you and you give him a lot of freedom and that's also what he loves about you that you do not ask too many questions and you know it's so much trust between you two pile the moment i'm touching this pile i feel so much trust between a couple you know with between two people and he loves the fact that you trust him and he loves the fact that you know he can trust you so that's their trust is a big thing here and i think uh, something to do with number 3 i'm getting a num number 3 a lot even you you've picked the pile number 3 so it's i'm getting 3 3 a lot i'm getting 3 6 9 a lot maybe 9 9 i'm also seeing 9 9 in my mind so he loves the way you are you know very free spirited trying new things you are very experimentative and that's what he loves adventurous you know you love taking risks and um, love going to new places probably you two are like hiking or something you know you like uh, discovering new places so maybe that's what he loves about you could be a water sign also i'm getting water sign i'm getting earth sign also in this one you're always positive that's what he loves about you that's how he feels even you know if he thinks negative you kind of turn it into a positive in his mind you keep things going those are the messages that i'm getting he loves that about you that even when he's feeling down you say things that really motivate him uh, make him think positive not to give up maybe you, you tell him all these things you know whenever he's feeling uh, not so good and you say you know that's okay you know things will change those are the words that you normally use is what i get you know things will change things don't remain the same it's the time is going to change for us you know you really pump him up you know and that's what he uh, likes about you i get a lot of vibrancy a lot of energy in this this deck which is very different from first and second yep flourish that's what he sees he sees you um you're beautiful, uh, you, you know, you're doing a good job, you love everything about yourself, he loves everything about you, something to do with lotus flowers, because I can see lotus flowers here, you're always, like I said, tr blooming, you know, and you can, you can bloom anywhere, like the lotus, uh, you can see the pond, you know, wherever it is, it is dirty, but you know, the, my, the lotus flower is so beautiful, it doesn't really matter, so you also adjust to any situation, you know, that's what I feel, <coughs> sorry for my throat and the cough, new project so you know he feels um that he feels like you know you just started dating even if you've been seeing each other for long but you make it so exciting you make it so wonderful for him the things that you do for him or things that you say you know you're always positive and that really feels like you know it's a it's 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 an it's every time it's a new date with you he's just met you you know that's what he loves about you and i think you pamper him a lot and he loves that i feel somebody who pampers the guy you know and uh, kind of does special things for him all the time surprising him so freedom free yourself so this is i i feel because i got freedom and i got free yourself this is not free yourself from the relationship he doesn't want to get free you know he doesn't want he doesn't want you to grow it's like he's put this cage around you he he loves you and he's scared of losing you that's what i get this card is very different right now for me as i hold it He's really scared of losing you. He doesn't want to lose you. He wants you to stay with him always. And that's why he's kind of, he, he feels, <laughs> that's that's a message that I get. He feels he should cage you, you know, somewhere. So you do not escape, you know. Uh, not in a very obsessive way, of course. But yeah, he, he just, he's scared of losing you always, you know. And another thing that I love, uh, that I, uh, I think he loves about you is that you're not dominating, you know, you love your freedom, you do not dominate him, you let him be, you know, the way he is, uh, you take decisions, you take uh, necessary decisions, when, when it's necessary, you take decisions, it's not that you impose, you're always imposing yourself on him or dominating, or arguing or trying to prove your point. That's what he loves about you, you know, happy go lucky is the word that I get. I get a lot of B, B for uh, bend, B for biscuit. I don't know why. Why would I say these words, biscuit and bend? Did you have a biscuit while watching this? Something to do with a biscuit. Let's see one more. This is also what came out for pile number uh, two. This is somebody who loves freedom, you know. 
you kind of i also feel uh, do you love your freedom and you you know you it's but somewhere you're shy i feel i feel uh, a dual personality you love going out you love staying home uh, you love your freedom but you know you uh, you also like you know somebody's pampering you or telling you you know like a baby he treats you like a baby you know this is what i feel with, with this pile you know both sides there's a vulnerable side to you which you can show him that's what he likes and kind of you're very strong so this is this is duality this is uh, showing both sides and he loves that you you know you can show a sensitive side to him and you also do not mind that because uh, you know he's going to take care of you that's another thing that i get i also feel that he doesn't he he thinks you're not too gossipy which is really good that you keep you can keep secrets and he likes that about you so if he tells you something you do not you know go go <laughs> go uh, you know and tell everybody or in your family and it stays like a secret you know in in your heart or you know somewhere it stays with you that's what i get i don't know if you like cats or something to do with cats but maybe you like cats or he's got a cat um i also get the i also get brown quite a lot for you i don't know why as a color i also got b a lot for you like i said b for brown also so those are the things i see in my mind i also saw seven number in my mind while i was talking to you guys so uh, that's how he feels about you this is beautiful so all three piles are very different and if you do not resonate with the pile you've chosen you can actually choose another pile but the best way to choose a pile is you know just see the see it and just choose it like instantly because the more you think the more it's like a train thing you know instant is always good you know that that deck is calling to you or that number or that card or whatever that color is calling out to you so those were the three uh, different piles thank you so much for listening to me and i'll be back with another reading soon thank you guys bye good night